What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Timon, and today, look what this guy today, did. Today, we got, we got 350Z issues. Well, this is like on me mostly, but I didn't think it would break just like that. But my serpentine belt, as you can see, what's left of it, it's, it's really thin too. It's like thin and snapped. Like it snapped completely clean. I just moved it over here for now, but it snapped last night. I was on a little late night drive, little cruise. Not even that late, it was like 11, I was chilling. Look, I got I got the new belt right here. Look at the size difference. This is thick. So thick. I don't know where the rest of this belt went. It ain't got no gas in it. You sure that's the right belt? Yeah. All right. I looked it up. Tell them what happened before. So I was getting on the on ramp to the highway. I was in second gear, so I go ahead. I went ahead and did my little pull. I was like. Yeah. <laughs> and then no, no no i went into fourth i was chilling go down a little more on the highway like i wasn't even i was in like six cruising like going like 70 now and then i don't hear nothing no noise at all but then i'm like my brake light like my e-brake light and then my battery's light is on i'm like that's weird i'm steering and i'm like wow it's a lot heavier my power steering goes out i'm like and i stop on the side of the highway at night and i'm like I don't want to turn it off because what if it doesn't turn on? I'm stuck on the side of the highway. So I'm like, hmm, I'm going to just go. So I go take the first exit, stop at a gas station. And I'm like, I could barely park because it was, it was hard as hell to turn. This car, a boat. See a boat. It's a boat. And then in my head, I was like, if my power steering's out and my belt was squeaking, did my belt just snap? <laughs> <laughs> and... He was correct. And it was right. But this is thin. Where the, like, the rest of it's gone. Is it? I, the rest must have, like, went on the highway, but we gotta, like, cut this out and then. You gotta cut it out. Yeah. I'm but gonna, I'm the, gonna watch you cut it out the, today. The food shouldn't be too difficult. I just gotta take this out and then that's basically it. There's room right there. Maybe. All right. So I'm basically gonna get behind him and just make sure his car doesn't overheat or something overheat catch on fire blow up i don't know just to make sure he's safe and if something happens he could just ride with me the lineup kid ain't no lineup no more she hurting right now you gotta fix her all right guys just stone tell them what you're doing all right so i loosened the two bolts in this part i took off this intake because you know it gives us a little more room it makes life easier plus it's not hard to take out so intake out this out not fully out but it might be okay just right here to be honest you can see all the leftover belt the shrapnel of the belt <laughs> granata oh this is this is the old one look how thin it is i don't even think that's like no it's definitely not the full thing of it yeah it definitely got shredded apart but this is all that i have left of the old one but who knows where the other half went I'm not sure like if the previous owner like ever did the serpentine belt either. But yeah, we're gonna try to clean up all the residue and uh, get, get to it. it. All right guys, so it's currently the next day, day number two. All right, and so what your boy had to do is, I waited on Esau to get here. Me and Timmy been here for like another hour or two. We were chilling, playing ball, eating, I was snacking up. Esau, we, he told me that I should just pull this hose out that was right here, that, that hose right there. So we pulled that out, let coolant spill all over the floor, had a great time. Now it's all messy and wet down there. Gotta clean that up. Yep. But then we pulled the radiator fan out because I have an aftermarket radiator and it's bigger than OEM. But with the OEM one, you'd be able to do this without an issue, but I got issues. Now we here. So I put the, it's not, for me, it's not a half inch. Like most people say for some reason, mine was actually a three eighths. So I put a three eighths ratchet in there and I use like a, a jack handle breaker bar and then got a six millimeter Allen head and just stuck it through there. And then now we're here, about to put the pulley on, clean it up a little and then see if it works. All right. All right this is the picture of the diagram. So I'm gonna follow that. There's no timing or nothing related. So we're just gonna start with this big pulley right here. <sighs> Where Reagan at? He hungry. He hungry. Damn. Where it go? Y'all, if y'all ever do work on your car, I promise you, the forum for your car is like, go there. All right, guys, so Esau basically tightened it up because I couldn't put it on there. I guess I'm weak. It, it was on there. Nah, that you thing had, is tight, You though. had to use a flathead to kind of pry it in. Yeah, there. we had to pry it in. 
I'm just double checking it right now to make sure all the things are in the grooves. And then, then after we're gonna start reversing it and putting all the stuff back together. Or, well, loosen this first, take the tensioner out. And then put the radiator fan in and then start her up and see if it, see if it works. See if it works. All right, so after spilling all the coolant everywhere onto the ground and stuff, I poured some more in, but I'm about to start the car. See how it is. I also, I also took the intake boxes out for now. I know harder intakes, but it felt the same with the boxes on anyways. But I'm gonna go start the car, pour some more coolant in after it goes into the engine and block. And then here she goes, first cold start. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Watch that belt like sling out. <laughs> I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna stay right there. Alright guys, it's been a couple of days after putting the belt on. Do you want to take a look at it real quick? It looks pretty pretty new to me, as it should. Just keep it that way. It's been holding up good. Car feels better. The power steering is also a lot like better. It's not like as heavy as it was before, I think, with the old belt. So I think it was like it's moving it better. I guess. I haven't put the intake shields back on yet, just in case something goes wrong, gotta reach under. Those aren't hard to put on, so I got my hot air intakes, hot boy style. <laughs> hot boy style. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. And I see you guys next time. Peace. Peace, Justin. Peace. Peace. All right, guys, that's it for the the serpentine belt. The you know, my my car issues happening every week. One silencer's in. I'm trying to see how loud it sounds with just one.